Hi everyone, this is Brian from Reporting Hub, and this is your high-level overview of our brand new AI integration, BI Genius. BI Genius is an AI agent creation platform that enables you to create your own custom white label AI agents that run off the business intelligence data you're already using today. Better yet, let me show you exactly what it is. So let's jump into my laptop. So here we're in the backend administrative portal. So you can see here I'm in the BI Genius admin area. And you'll see there's three different tabs. There's the UI design, agent admin, and query logic. So this is where I'm going to go and actually set up the designs in the UI UX of my agents. And it's also where I'm going to go and build and manage and maintain my agents. And it's also where I can come and understand the behavior of them. And I can actually look up sessions and prompts and see how the logic, uh, how the AI uh, actually worked and derived at some of the answers it gave. So let's start with UI design. So here's where I'm gonna come in and you know white label the experience. So I can put my colors and I can put my logos. I can put all of the different uh, information I want to customize it. I can customize the welcome message. I can customize the font. I can customize the footer. The entire thing is a white label platform so you can make it look exactly like you want and deliver it under your brand. Agent admin is where I'm gonna come and actually create my agents and manage my agents. So you can see I have a few already built here. I have three different agents. So I have my sales insight companion, my how-to guide for reporting up, and I have my CEO agent. And I'll do a quick overview of these to kind of explain some of the different capabilities that we have. With reporting up, you can have multiple report pages and multiple domains and multiple uh, tenants. So from an agent perspective, you can create agents for specific purposes and each agent can have its own unique set of data sources. And here's an example where for our sales insights companion, I'm actually running four different data sources that's feeding this agent. So I have complete control over the data sources that I allow the agent to, to work with. So in this case, I have a semantic model from my Power BI. I have a SQL database. I also have uploaded a PDF for, in this case, it's our security and compliance documentation. And I also have a link to our documentation URL. So I can actually put in URLs or web pages that I want the agent to have access to on the web. So this is an example of a multi data source agent. I have a simpler agent here, which is a how-to guide for reporting out that I created. And what this is doing is it's simply looking at our documentation and it allows a, a user to ask questions against our docs. So it's a really simple example of how I can create an agent for how-to type questions based off knowledge bases or based off of your websites or based off your PDFs, that kind of thing. I've also created a CEO agent. In this case, it's just a single semantic model it's running off of. It's a very specific tailored agent that's designed specifically for an executive report that I built. So I wanna have a very tailored agent in that scenario. So to create a new agent, I just simply come and click new agent and I, you know, I can call it whatever I want and I can come in and I can add my different data sources. In this case, you know, Power BI or SQL. You know, it's very simple, very easy, no code, uh, no code required at all. I can also put some suggested prompts here, and this is where I can come and, you know, prompt my users to engage with the agent. And I'll come back to query logic in a minute here, but this is where I can actually go and understand what's happening with my agent. So you'll see that I have another tab here called instruct, and I can jump over to this, and this is where I can give the agent specific instructions. This is where I can tell it, you know, certain contextual information that my agent might use to be able to better answer questions. So things like, you know, our business sells mountain bikes or our corporate year end is, you know, December 31st. Information that's not necessarily gonna be in your data source that you wanna make sure the agent has that contextual level of information. So let's actually go and see how easy it is to add an agent to a report. So within my existing reporting hub, I'm gonna to go to manage content. I'm gonna go and access a report here. And you'll see there's a new toggle called BI Genius here. If I toggle that on, this allows me to surface an agent onto a content page. So I'm gonna go and simply choose the agent that I want to surface on this content page. I select that agent and it's as simple as that. I can come and apply different permissions. So this user you know, can have access to my agent and this user can have access to my query logic. So I can tailor the, the permission specific to the user security group here as well. So once I've done that, I'll go to that report page and you can see how easy it is to deploy an agent within your reporting of today. So here's an example. There's my uh, agent that personalized, completely white label experience. I click on that and then I can open up my AI interactive experience directly within my reporting hub. So let's say my users have been asking a bunch of questions of my agent and I want to be able to understand what's going on behind the scenes. 
So I'm going to go back to my admin and into my query logic. So this is where as an administrator, if I get asked a question from one of my users, I can go in and say, you know, I want to, I want to see what happened yesterday with this user when they asked a, when they asked a question, you know, which product had the highest sales or, you know, I can actually jump into that and it says, you know, here's the, here's the actual prompt the user asked. This is the answer it gave. And I can go in and actually see the behavior of the model output, the actual logic, how it derived at the answer, why it derived at the answer. So you can see very detailed step plan from identifying the objective, building the plan in natural language, talking about the different relationships and metadata that it used, and then actually giving me the DAX or SQL statement or, or whatever else it used to actually generate that response. So I have a complete understanding and I can answer all the questions I need to of what's happening under the hood and behind the scenes of BI Genius. So that's your high level overview of BI Genius and to get started all reporting up customers can get a free download and free trial so you can try it out for yourself.